वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल स्पेस रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड जी आई एस सो एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट फ्यू टेक्निक्स ऑफ द हाई परस्पेक्ट्रल डेटा सो एंड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर यू ऑल्सो सीन दैट हाउ टू डाउनलोड द हाइपर ऑन डेटा सो टू प्रोसेसिंग द हाइपर ऑन डेटा देर इज़ अ सर्टन टूल विच इज़ फ्रीली अवेलेबल ओके सो यू कैन डाउनलोड इफ यू हैव इन बी ओके सो देन यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस हाइपर ऑन टूल एंड यू यू वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल इट ओके सो हाउ विल गोइंग टू डू दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू एंड टेल यू दैट प्रोसेस एंड यूजिंग दैट टूल हाउ यू कैन प्रोसेस द डेटा ओके सो आई विल ऑल्सो गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दैट टेक्निक ओके सो फर्स्ट इज यू हैव टू गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर साइट्स ओके वेर यू जस्ट सी हियर द हाइपर ऑन टूल डाउनलोड्स ऑप्शन विल बी यू जस्ट नीड टू टाइप इन गूगल ओके एंड यू विल गेट दिस ऑप्शन ओवर हियर इफ ऑन द ग्रीट हैव सो यू जस्ट राइट क्लिक एंड ओपन दिस ओके एंड यू जस्ट सी यू विल कम टू दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस वेर यू विल सी दिस इज द हाइपर ऑन टूल ऑप्शन विल बी देयर सो सिंपली क्लिक द टूल ओके एंड यू जस्ट कम टू दिस प्लेस सो देर इज अ डिफरेंट वर्शन विच इज अवेलेबल ऑलवेज गो विद द लेटेस्ट वर्शन इट इज कॉम्पर्टेबल विथ फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट थ्री इवन इफ इट इज कॉम्पर्टेबल विद द फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स विच आई यूज ओके सो बोथ इट विल वर्क प्रॉपरली सो सिंपली क्लिक द सोर्स कोड एंड यू सी योर हाइपर ऑन टूल विल डाउनलोड so once you download uh, you just see here uh, i already download this particular tool and i saved in some particular place suppose i am going to show you uh, so this is the place where i kept my hyperon tool and after that you will get uh, just export this just right click on this extract file here you will get this folder here three things you have to paste over there so those are like this tool one hyperon tool one and you need to click on this flag mask on okay so now you just right click on this click on the copy okay these three tools these three files you have to copy okay and you go back to the c drives where you under the program files you have a options under the hadis okay this is a mv 5.6 okay so if you want to use in a classic versions then go for the classic versions okay so under the classic versions uh, you have options for save added these options you just see here you just right click okay and simply paste it i already paste it you just see this hyperon tool option flag mask okay and this is i already paste so this is for your classics okay how we will going to activate the hyperon tool in the classics and if you want to go for the uh, present in v1 then you have to come to here okay so from the harry send me 56 and there is a option is called extensions okay so if you click on the extension simply right click and paste it so you will get all the file here also copy it okay so once these two things will done okay so your hyperon tool will come as a new extensions in your nv so from this if you have to go to this nv 5.6 suppose i am just opening five uh, this latest versions of the nv so you just see <coughs> there is a new tool as a hyperon it will going to show you in that particular locations so uh, let's see uh, the results how it is looking like okay okay so now uh, this is ready okay so what i need to do like here this is a 5.2 lv is there which is following uh, some of this particular steps you will see how i am just going to use that hyperon data directly to process uh, inside arcgis mb software okay so that we are trying to do it over here directly using the hyperon tool you can skips many steps even the flush corrections also okay so and you just see first uh, first what i should try to show you like under this extensions okay you see this new extensions and this extensions hyperon tool it will going to show you over here okay so this is the uh, in general process how you will going to install how download the hyperon tool and how will going to install it okay and then next how will going to use this hyperon tool so simply double click on this particular tool okay and you need to give input data hdf data sets okay so which you downloaded i already downloaded i showed you that day how i downloaded the hyperon tool so uh, i will just go to this particular place 
and uh, let's see the data yeah so here so this is my ip on data which i downloaded so you can simply click and open so this is the input file you have to select over here the next steps which you have to do is you have to give some output path where you can save your data so <coughs> suppose uh, you can go here under this uh, new folder also you can click so that there also you can save this particular data sets okay so that means uh, where i saved i will show you so this is e drive Okay, so this is the Hyperon data. So this is the new folder where I am just going to export that particular files where I am just going to do it now. Okay, so now here whatever the process you want to run, okay, so that you need to uh, select over here. Okay, so see here many process which you can do at a time here. So that is the beautiful thing here. This is obviously this is for level one R <coughs> data sets that we are actually processing so if you are downloading this data then you have to go with this but anyway i am just going to show you this geo reference use flash marks okay but if you see here if you don't copy that time the flash marks corrections so then this step will not happen okay so then it will stuck there and if you not stuck uh, doing this then you will not go for the other steps also like output the nv mask okay and then output the flush scale factors okay and then interpolated data with the common path and then you can simply click on yes and <coughs> you can able to process this data okay so simply uh, start processing of this data it will take quite good time to process okay so once you, once it will done we will going to show you the output so uh, i think the output is ready okay so we will just now check the output so if i go here okay so under the new folder you see this is the converted value okay which is came here directly so you have two file dat and hrd hdr so you can open this dat file and now you can able to see the output how the hyperon data is looking so see here these are the few bad bands will be there but anyway you can ignore as of now so if you simply click on color infrared so automatically this color infrared image will come up okay and if you click on this uh, spectral value so you can click over here so you will get to see the spectral value okay so see here uh, over the vegetation how the spectral curve is actually coming okay so this is the process how we are actually uh, going to use the hyperon tool to process this data now you can do the band removal with this okay so next uh, the lectures maybe i will come with this band uh, removals okay technique so that is nothing just if i just tell you the process okay so usually you see there is uh, some uh, band informations will be there which is uh, not coming okay so this there is no value in this few bands okay if you see here this is also there and here also there okay like that few bands are no values okay these bands also no values so how we're going to remove these bands okay this is called band band bad band removal techniques so usually whatever files you having here now okay so you have to go to this save as and click on this nv outputs and here whatever you want to uh, remove that particular files bad bands you can select it is already selected as i am just opening here so you can go to the spectral subset okay and you just see here spectral subset automatically it will selected all the bands but i still not applied the band band levels so what you have to do you can simply click on band apply bad band level so once you apply that you see here your bands is now come down to 196 why you see all these bands are not selected now you see here see these are not selected here so first what you have to do you have to first note down all these band value like here 127 then you have to check yes 58 to 78 okay and then your 25 to 242 so these bands you have to note down somewhere okay and then you have to select manually all this okay and then click on okay not select all select manually one by clicking suppose i'm just going to show you suppose one to seven use 
press control of your key okay and one two three four five six seven like that you have to select for other bands also okay so once you selected all this click on okay and then simply click on okay so these bad bands will going to remove from your image okay so this is the proper technique of downloading the hyperon image uh, sorry uh, yes obviously the hyperon image we are already described in last lecture then how we will going to download that hyperon tool how we will going to install the hyperon tool and how we will going to perform the bad band bad band removal technique okay thank you everyone thank you very much so if you like my channel please subscribe okay so thank you all and please give your comments.